So in the previous episode, we finally killed Supreme Calamitous, which felt like taking out my nemesis, and it was really good. I was ha very, very happy with that. But today, we also need to kill the Exomex. Um, so that's going to be our goal for the day. I think uh, it's not going to take us very long to do it. Uh, it's it's a really fun fight, and the reason I decided to go with Supreme Calamitous first, even though I had intended to do Exomex first, was because I had gotten in a groove with Supreme Calamitous and I was like, you know what, it's the time. It's time to try and actually kill this boss uh, without Exomex stuff. And and I think it, it went pretty good. So yeah, we need to change around all of our stuff. I need to swap out uh, accessories. Like we're gonna go back to the Celestial Tracers, which I have to re-enchant re there. And we got a new summon, which I, where did it go? I'm gonna be honest. I don't know where it went. I mean, <laughs> I think I think I got rid of it accidentally. Yeah, we're gonna have to look it up. But we also have these two new uh, summon items as well that we got from what was it like uh, Awakening? Is that the name of the thing? Anyways, you you've got a a thing that you could do with with the uh, calamitous character. What is her name actually? I don't even know. I don't even know where did she go. She was down. Here somewhere? I think she- oh, no, there she is. Okay. Yeah, Calamitous. Yeah, the enchant thing, and then you awaken it. Yeah, so we, we got those out of that, and I think that these are going to help as well. Um, but yeah, we, we've got a lot of stuff to adjust here, and it may not take me very long to necess necessarily kill this boss. Like, it took me 100 and- what was that? 103 attempts uh, to do Supreme Calamitous. I think it's going to be significantly less than that for the Exomex, and once we're done with that, it's, it, I've had this question pop up a couple times, am I gonna do the adult Eidolon Worm? Really, the reason this exists, even though it was changed recently, the reason this exists is for you to have something to go do after you get your end game items, and it's, I wouldn't call it truly a boss, so we'll kind of see how I'm feeling, how quickly we end up killing uh, Exomex or not, but after this, uh, after after we finish Calamity Summoner, we're going to take a minor break for a few days, and then I'm going to come back real strong with the next modded series, and I'm really excited for that. Okay, so let's just jump right in. I'm going to adjust some of my, my things over here. I'm going to find that summon weapon, and then we'll do some attempts. Okay, I think, I think this is what we're going to go with. So I've got... The Ruthless Vengeance, so I got Soul Seekers. I've got the Metastasis, Metastasis, I don't remember how to pronounce that stupid thing. And then I'm also using um, the Perdition, which is the little thing following me around. So actually, I think when I summon the boss, I need to um, do the, uh, the whatchamacallit, the right click on that in order to get it to target the correct things. So. Um, I forgot what we need to contact. There we go. That's it. Don't have any summon items. It's really nice. Let's hope for the best here. We're doing about 30k DPS on our like highest point before. Um, so we'll see how this ends up going. Let's see. Can we target that one? Oh man, I'm gonna need to turn down the uh, <laughs> the the transparency on my dudes again. Forgot about that. That's not great. I keep getting hit by stuff. Yeah, we definitely have to turn this down. Also, not really sure how useful this this little wormy boy is being at the moment. Doesn't seem super useful. And I think that mm, it might actually be hurting my damage a bit. Uh, just because he's really not doing anything against these two in particular. And my guys are also having to focus on the hearts that are spawning. So maybe we wait on that. And, um, yeah, maybe we just wait on that. I don't, I don't know if that's actually going to be good. So how many, how many summons do we have? 17, right? I, uh, I suppose that doesn't really matter much. That's always going to happen. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Wow. That's a lot of dudes. Okay. Then we're going to go to configuration Fargo's. All right. Turn the transparency way down so I can actually see what's going on. And then as you guys suggested previously, turn this sucker to nighttime and I should be able to see it uh, a lot better, which actually is quite helpful. Uh, what else did we have? Uh, I gotta hit this and then we open this, contact. 
and we'll see if my damage is any higher. It may actually be quite a bit higher. Right? We're just going to find out. Again, it's most likely due to the uh, targeting here. Uh, it's not super high. Yeah, I'm not sure. Whoa, barely dodged that. Got to dodge these rockets coming in. It is a bit of a spam, isn't it? Oh, I walked right into that. Dashed into it, even. Oh my goodness. All right, you know what? Let's try, um... Let's try these little chargey boys. <laughs> I don't know if that's actually helping. Actually, you know what? It might be. If I just move this way... <laughs> it looks like it's doing some DPS. Maybe it's not half bad. It seems to be better if I'm going left, I'm targeting the right one. If I'm going right, I'm targeting the left one, maybe? Yeah, that actually might be the case. All right, here we go with the uh, craziness here. Put that heal on. Hit the rage. I forgot about the laser beam. I, I, I feel like I'm just killing myself with this thing. I'm a whip. We're going to whip it real good. Oh, and there's a laser again. Okay. Avoid that. Man, I got to get back into the middle of this fight. That's the problem. It's like just... It's been... It's been a hot minute since I've done this fight. I've done Supreme Calamitous so much that I'm just like... Totally out of practice here. But I definitely want to kill the eyes first. And that's a little bit of a problem. Because they're kind of a pain in the butt. Yeah, maybe... You know what? I'm gonna switch this back to daytime real quick. And then try this... Uh, try this again. I don't actually know if the perdition is helping or hurting. So let's get, uh, what was it, 17 of these, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I literally have to do that every time. <laughs> um, that, the Cinders of Lament is interesting, but I think I'm killing myself with it. Summon this. I gotta remember to target a dude. And then we're just gonna go full on dodge mode. So, target that, yeah. And hope for the best. Doing all the dodgings here. You know, after just doing Supreme Calamitous, this should be fairly easy to dodge, you know? Which, I'm not doing too bad this attempt. And maybe the light background is actually helping? Or maybe not. I think it was just really distracting because I was getting a bunch of other, like, projectile spam going on at any given point. Oh man, I keep getting hit though. It really sucks. Right. Oh, I forgot to dodge. I knew it was coming. I even thought about it. I just wasn't doing enough there. Give me that. Dash this way. Oop, go down. Man, I am taking some hits. Let's go straight down. Bounce off of that boss. And then ran right into the, the worm. Yeah, I feel like my damage is super low, which is odd. Am I missing something? I actually might be? Or maybe it's just that particular set of eyes. I feel like I was killing it faster before. Actually, you know what? We can we can do a direct comparison. Let's pull out Chester. All right, we're gonna grab where to go. We're gonna grab this and this. We'll pop that on there. And I don't have anything like summoned, right? Because sometimes it pops up where I still have a summon out. All right, so let's go, uh, what was it? One, two, three, four. And then maybe like one of these boys. See, see what that does? I'm not gonna also summon the perdition this time and, and just see like what's going on with our damage. Because if it is higher, then I'm gonna try just not summoning perdition. I mean, it feels higher. <laughs> it's hard to tell. It, I, I'm doing like, like 22, 25, 30k there for a second. It's, it is very difficult to kind of figure out what's going on here. Those missiles get me every time. I, I have a really hard time seeing those missiles. It's like all of the other dodge is fine, but those missiles, they, they, I feel like they come out of nowhere. Man, I'm just getting hit by everything. It's going to take a little bit of practice to get back into this fight, I think. Uh, can we get that heart? Then we're gonna fly way up. 
And then we go way down to dodge that. It's a timing thing. Once you figure out the timing, it's pretty, pretty simple. These missiles, on the other hand. So let's reset my flight and the heal. All right, we got to watch out for the laser beam, which is not going to come towards us on this. And then I hit the adrenaline. So we're going to push, push, push. Got the laser beam. That didn't hit us. Okay, that's nice. And then we die to the eyeballs. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to practice this a little bit. Okay, well, <laughs> I don't even know what was going on on that attempt. Don't even know what was going on on that attempt. It was just chaos. It was absolute chaos. So, <laughs> what did I do even? I don't even know. I think I did one of these and then 13 of these. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, right? Wrong button. And then one of these... And then, I don't know, I just kind of killed the bosses? I kind of felt like doing the eyeballs at the beginning were very painful. I'm going to try something different. I'm going to try the um, the big old boys. The B.O.B.s. The Bobs. Because I felt like this actually was working pretty well against them, you know? Uh, we got a laser coming from that direction, so we got to go right. Which actually makes me want to go left now. I think that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. So now I can kind of avoid that. And then for this, I'm just going to go down. And we head back up. I'm just taking a bunch of damage from stuff I can't even see. All right, now we... So, wow, we transitioned that really quick. So with that particular set of summons, I feel like our damage output is kind of insane. So, like, I don't even know what to do about that. Goodness, I don't even know what to do about that. <laughs> I'm about to have a heal, though. If I can live just a bit longer. Dodge this way. If I can get my guys to, like, attack this stuff, it would not be bad. The problem is, my I think my current set of summons is very weak against these guys. Because my big old worm boy is having a very hard time with keeping up, you know? So I don't even know what he's doing back there. I think he's attacking something. What is he attacking? I don't know. All right. Let's hit the uh, adrenaline and attack some things. Just do damage, right? Like, just, I don't know what damage you're going to do, but just do damage. All right. Now we got this back. All right. Let's kill this guy again because, oh, my goodness, our damage versus him was great. Um, and then we die. Oof. I have so much stuff going on on my screen at any given time. I literally just can't see. It's just too much. Let's let's try to avoid Worm Boy, maybe. I don't know. I, so, hmm. I feel like... It's a tough one. It is a tough one. All right, here, where's Chester? Chester, my boy. Get over here. My invisible Chester. I kind of feel like for the eyes... Like, this is going to be the king, potentially. Um, so let's try that out, actually. I think I summoned something on accident. Did I? Maybe not. Uh, photosynthesis. No, no. Okay, okay. So let's try this. So we're going to go full on Sarah's possession, right? We're going to hit contact, and we're going to try the eye and see how much damage we do with this particular setup. Because I feel like it was kind of godlike. Um, for tracking, right? So, maybe not. Like, look how low our DPS is at the moment. Well, I don't know. And then it, like, shoots up to, like, 45k. So, <laughs> maybe it's just that we need the projectiles to be hitting, right? And they do a pretty good job of it when the boss tracks back towards us. So, at this point, it's kind of a hurry up and wait thing. Like, we just gotta wait for... 
the bosses to track back onto us, or maybe this just isn't the correct weapon for the eyes. So this goes back to my, my whole theory that I said when we first started Exomex, which is that if I want to play efficiently on Exomex, it's going to be the case that there's different summons good for different uh, bosses here, of the three bosses. So, like, our Wormy Boy is going to be really good against their Wormy Boy. Our... Any kind of tracking may end up being better for this kind of boss, maybe? I don't know. I think the dragons are pretty good versus it. So, but like, you know, at this point, what we do is we try to find the thing. Goodness, it's hard to find if you don't remember what it looks like. Uh, we do one of these, and then we go like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I ran into that because I'm just not watching. Mm, that's going to be a tough one. I think, I think our efforts at the moment should be... What is going to do the most damage to the eyes? And we got to figure that out. So that's going to involve a little bit of experimentation. Um, this definitely wasn't it. I didn't feel like that was really doing much. So, oh, no. Eh, where are you at? There you go. No, Chester. Ah, Chester. Chester. Stop. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's pop that in there. I mean, maybe uh, maybe we go with the same setup that I had for, for Calamitous. I think that is actually a pretty good choice here so two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen okay um and then we had one of these boys maybe that'll do it i mean i didn't have this on calamitous but it wouldn't have mattered all right let's try the eyeballs and we'll, we'll just try this out let's we'll just try this out yeah, see, here's the thing. I just don't feel like it's doing as much damage as the dragons were. Are the dragons really that good versus these guys? It doesn't feel like it. It, feel, it feels like the weapons I just got should be the weapons I'm using. And um, it honestly, when, as, when I use them, I don't feel like I'm doing that much damage. I feel like I'm doing significantly less compared to the dragons. Oof, just threaded that needle, huh? So I'm not sure. I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a very odd setup here. Because I feel like our new stuff should be the things that I'm using. But at the same time, it also does not feel like that's working for us. So... I guess I could try a full setup of the... the What are they called? The Soul Seekers. And try a full setup of that and see what that does. In fact, let's just go ahead and wipe this up. Because if they're doing... Like, when I'm not moving around, my goodness, I'm doing like 30k damage. Maybe I'm just moving too much on them. Is that what it is? Should we try that? Okay, here, let's let's try that. Let's see if that's our our, our theory that we're working with here. So, oh goodness, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. You'd be nice if I had like some kind of mod that could show me how many things I had summoned at any given point. That'd be nice. Pop this. So this time I'm not gonna move as much. I'm going to play it kind of like uh, Bullet Hill Supreme Calamitous, maybe. Okay, here we go. So, we're going to target this boy. He seems to kind of stay there the most. Okay, yeah, see, now I'm doing like 30k when I'm, when I'm not moving as much. And that feels pretty good. So, maybe that's just all I need to be doing. It's just kind of being a little bit more intentional with the eyeballs. The problem is like, okay... Let's say I am more intentional with the eyeballs. Let's say I am moving less. And then we get to the end phase where we've got... I keep getting hit by the stupid missiles. Where we got things all on our screen because we have the, the three bosses together, right? That's where it's most chaotic. You need to kill one of the bosses. Like, once you kill one of the bosses, everything gets a little bit easier um, anytime the other ones come out. So... And that's just not based on the bosses are easier. No, they, they're getting more difficult, but it gets easier to dodge stuff because there's not as much stuff on your screen at any point. But here's what I'm talking about. So, like, okay, we got these two guys out, right? Got the... Oh, yeah, hit by that. We got the eyeball, or not the eyeball. We got this guy, and we got the worm, right? But where, where's my concern coming from here? It's that I'm not going to be able to track the eyeballs as well. That's my huge concern. Simply because, oh my goodness, that stupid laser thing. <sighs> Maybe I'm just moving too much on them too. Should I attempt, 
<laughs> Should I seriously attempt to just... Okay, here. Um, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Okay, let's try... Um, what is it called? Artemis? No, no, no. The Artemis and, and Ares are the, the two. All right, hold on. Let's, let's see the names. Artemis and Apollo. Right, okay. So let's try Ares and try not moving so much, right? So back to the whole maybe I'm moving too much theory. I do have to dodge some lasers. And then when it comes this way, we move right, right? Okay, and then we're going to go this way a little bit. Because each of the hands do something different. And that's the big thing we got to keep in mind. Each of the hands are doing something different here. And that big old bomb hurts every time you got to move away from it. But I'm not sure which one is shooting that one out. So I'm not sure how to avoid it. All right, then we're going back into this. We just wreck those things. I seriously love wrecking them. But again, like I said, maybe I'm moving too much. Maybe I need to move less. Oh, there's missiles though. I hate those missiles. <laughs> like maybe... Hmm. Maybe I just save the eyes. Maybe those are my last choice. Maybe the wormy boy is what I end up attacking here. I cannot stand <laughs> the freaking eyeball guys. I remember them being some of my worst ones on the Rogue series too. And the uh, final dawn that I was using really helped with the dodging of some of their stuff, but still wasn't the greatest. Like, I feel like we're doing so little damage versus them. They're dying so slowly compared to like what we just did to Ares. The Ares is our easiest one to kill. If I recall correctly, maybe one of the things that I ended up doing was just deciding to to do whichever one I could kill the quickest as the rogue and go from there. And then that's what led me into the eventual winning strategy. So it's possible that, that maybe that's what I need to kind of do here too. I'm getting a lot of rage. Oh, and I got the, the shattered community thing, too, that I could try. Um, which actually might help with this, because then I'm just generating a bunch of rage, which is generating extra damage. Maybe we'll do that on the next attempt. And drop the uh, extra health, maybe. We'll see, we'll see. So, th this is just going on for freaking ever. Okay, now we can go back to our boy. Let's, let's go back to killing our boy. As I just get laser beamed. <laughs> There's just so much going on. All right, here. Where did, what was it called? It was the... You know what? If I just go to accessories, I think I'll find it. So it's called the Shattered Community. So let's put that on there. Um, I may actually end up attempting that. Okay, hold on. Let's go... Uh, should we go the whole nine yards here? Hmm, I'm not sure. Let's just go 17 of these guys again. One, two, three, four. Actually, I should probably check to see if we still have 17. We do. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And we're going to double check with one more. Okay, I just replaced it. Good. So that's not the button I wanted to hit. I think if this ends up doing like a lot more damage, then I'm going to be pretty happy. I'm going to try the, the eyeball dudes first. So, we'll see kind of what's going on here. Wow, that rage, that extra rage generation is really nice. It's just going. You know what? I kind of like that. <laughs> That's a lot of extra rage pretty easy. Oh my goodness with that. So, let's dash over here. Go down. Dash back. And right into that little green thing. I'm going to have to do this at night. I'm having a hard time seeing these. And you guys were right before that doing it at night is definitely the way to do it. So, uh, I might be able to switch it mid-fight here without dying. Oof. Bright sun's in the background. That doesn't help. <laughs> What are those moons? It's so hard to see anything. It actually kind of makes it worse. <laughs> okay. So. Just avoid, right? Doing our normal avoid. Does that bomb get out of the range? Hit the uh, adrenaline. I'm okay with taking a hit there. 
Oh, we gotta go back to our eyeballs, All right? I mean, I could get rid of this guy and then move on to the next phase, right? Oh my goodness, that laser beam. I meant to dash, or not dash, use my uh, teleport, but that didn't work. I really should have used my rage when I heard it go off. I don't know why I didn't. Okay, let's just push. Oh my goodness, I was just gonna push him dead. All right, I feel like we're making good, <laughs> good progress. I'm just gonna have to experiment a lot with this fight. <laughs> 